pentatonic minor scale is a scale that most of us learn very early on when we start to learn how to, to improvise and to play solos. And it's a great, great starting point and many people spend their whole lives playing guitar not needing to go any further than the pentatonic minor scale. But what happens when you want to play a song that's not necessarily blues, rock or in a minor key and it's in a very major sounding key, it's in a major key. What do you do? You can't use this scale, or can you? I'm going to show you how to use this exact minor pentatonic scale shape for major keys as well. So with one simple little hack. In order to do that, I'm gonna spend a couple of minutes just explaining a concept which everybody should really know about because it informs a lot of music and, and songwriting and it's just a very, very good thing to know. And that is your major scale and your relative minor scale. So to explain, a major scale, any major scale in any key anywhere is not necessarily a, a bunch of notes, it's a series of intervals and there's a pattern of intervals and I'll explain what I mean by that, but it's the distance between two notes, that's an interval. If you start, let's do the key of A major or the scale of A major. If you start on your A, you go up a certain pattern of intervals. And the first one is a whole step or two frets. The second one is a whole step or two frets. The third one to get to your fourth note is a half step, one fret. Then we go up another whole step, another whole step, another whole step. And finally, to get from the seventh note to back to the eighth note, which is the same as the first, you go up a half step. So that pattern of intervals is whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half gets you up to the A again. So it doesn't matter what key you're in, that pattern of intervals, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, remains the same. And that's how you build a major scale. If, however, you go to the sixth note of that scale, which is in the key of A major, it's an F sharp. If you go to the F sharp and you continue to play that scale, same pattern of intervals, but you begin from the F sharp, but you begin from the sixth note and you keep playing that A major scale. Suddenly it sounds like a minor key. Because it is. It's your F sharp minor scale. But if you resolve to the A, if you keep going all the way back down that scale, it's still the A major scale. So it all really depends on what note you resolve to. If you resolve to the F sharp, or the sixth note, it sounds like a minor scale. If it resolves to the A, it will sound like a major scale. So, that sixth note, the F sharp, we can find it down here, which is three frets down from our A. And because this is universal for any key we're talking about, we can apply this general rule, easy rule, that says, from any major point, any major scale, any major chord, go three frets down, one, two, three, to get to your relative minor scale or chord. And that means that A major has a relative minor of F sharp minor. C major has a relative minor of A minor. F major has a relative minor of D minor, three frets down. You just go three frets down to get to your minor. Or if you're in a minor key and you want to find the relative major, you go three frets up. It's very simple. We can use that to our advantage here because if you play your minor pentatonic scale, what's the first thing you do? You go up three frets. So from your first note to your second note, you go up three frets. And if we're playing the A minor pentatonic, or any minor pentatonic, if you go up three frets, you get to your relative major. So we can say that that second note in our minor pentatonic scale gives us a relative major root note. And that means that we can start on the second note of the pentatonic minor scale and play the same scale pattern, all the same notes, Resolve to that second note, the C, instead of the first note, the A, and suddenly your A minor pentatonic sounds like a C major pentatonic. Right? It's the same bunch of notes. A minor, C major. Simple, right? Now, how, do you, how does that help you when someone says, 
we're playing a song in the key of B flat major. The first thing you do is you find your B flat on your E string, right? Which is, as everyone hopefully knows, on your sixth fret. Now, the simple rule here is that now, if you know you're in the key of B flat major, you make that the second note in your pentatonic scale shape that you know. And you go down the neck, not up the neck, but you go down the neck from that point, playing that shape. And your root note resolves here on the, the sixth fret of the high E string as well, obviously. If you were in the key of B flat minor, you would start there and make that the first note of your minor pentatonic scale. So from wherever your root note is, whatever your key is in your song, you find that note on the E string and you go down for major and you go up for minor, rock and blues. Simple, right? Download the chart to help you remember how to, how to work that out and let me know how you go. And another great thing about this is that every riff and lick that you have learned and practiced and know and love from your minor pentatonic scale, keep playing it. Play it in the major key. It's going to work as well, but it will have a different tonal center. You resolve to a different note in order to get to the root note. Thanks for watching. I hope this is really helpful to you. Stay tuned. I'm going to give you more cheats and hacks and, and helpful hints in using your pentatonic minor and major scales down the track. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you here again soon. Mm -hmm.